my name is Tim and I'm a surveillance controller here on the uh, AOX. Uh, we have a couple of the uh, planes like you see behind me. Uh, well, mainly to do a lot of surveillance in the airspace over at uh, Europe and uh, also the rest of the world. Today uh, we're going to do a mission over at uh, the uh, UK airspace and we're going to train with uh, multiple American and other nations uh, with our fighter jets and uh, see if we can detect some uh, low-flying drones in the airspace. Yeah, so right now uh, we're doing the uh, formidable shield exercise. We're currently in the air at, at 29,000 feet. And uh, we're gonna take a look at what everybody's uh, doing right here. Come take a look. So the surveillance section on the back row here, you can see with the radar everybody who's uh, flying around us and also who that is and if people uh, are where they belong. Also the passive uh, controller, he is detecting any electromagnetic signatures from other radars that are flying around us or are stationed on the ground. So you can see uh, what type of aircraft are uh, around us. And then we gather as much data as we need and then that is sent uh, as very, very valuable information uh, down to NATO headquarters uh, where decisions can be made. The items that we have still have three unknowns. Well, of course, on a long mission, we also need to uh, get something to eat and take care of ourselves. So we have our galley here. Uh, unfortunately, no uh, marble countertops, uh, but just a few warmers for a hot dinner and uh, to make some coffee. The uh, front row of the surveillance section consists of three surveillance operators working together with the uh, surveillance controller. Uh, they're making sure that uh, everything that the radar sees is being yeah, processed into a recognized air picture. So we will detect air tracks and surface tracks and they are also identifying every single aircraft that is uh, surrounding us. So as the uh, surveillance section is making a recognized air picture, uh, we're making sure that all the uh, data is being sent to other players uh, in the uh, scenario. So today we are doing a scenario with other fighter jets and we can also make sure that they're receiving all the tracks that we are seeing, uh, that they can see them on their radar screens as well. This helps them with the uh, targeting and they can see uh, a picture of other aircraft in the vicinity of more than 400 kilometers. So here is the, uh, the weapons pit and from here are the fighter allocator and the weapon controllers uh, working directly with the fighter aircraft. These are actually the people that are uh, really talking to the uh, pilots in the uh, fighter aircraft and making sure they know where to go, who to target, and how the uh, scenario is going to play out. Receive the final words from the ground station about the F-15 for advanced control. So with the uh, formidable shield exercise that we're doing right now, we have the checking if they uh, are able to detect uh, low-flying uh, targets that we can see and are maybe then targeted by uh, naval vessels. Simulated, simulated, simulated. A fire smoke and fumes. Dot mask, 100% oxygen. Port back up to the engineer when everyone's on board too. So we just did a simulated emergency. Uh, we practice them pretty much every single flight. Uh, we'll go through an array of different ones. So we'll do fire, smoke, and fumes practice as well as loss of cabin pressure. So it's really important to make sure that we're practicing these emergency drills. It's the same thing as uh, if you were on a commercial airplane. Those. Those flight attendants, they, they know exactly what to do and when. So we do the same, expect the highest of each other. And that way, anytime somebody's on board, they know that they're safe. Yeah, so today we uh, we had a mission up uh, in the northwest of the UK, on the hybrid islands. Uh, the mission itself was actually taking place over the Atlantic Ocean. And our orbit was uh, situated uh, north of Scotland. Now we're, done, now we're on our way back. Uh, same route again. Right now, we're actually passing Newcastle again without any fueling. We can stay aloft about eight and a half hours. And then once the missions get longer than that, we'll, we will need any fueling. Uh, so uh, pick up some fuel mid-air. Usually, real-life missions now are about 12 to 13 hours. 
So it's great working with a bunch of different nationalities. We have a bunch of nations in NATO and we're excited that we just got one more. And uh, it just gives it a different environment than just working with your own nation. So the, the, the word dif different uh, nationalities are on board, the easier it actually becomes. Because people tend to speak slower to make themselves uh, understood. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten.